Well, what's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody is having a great day. Here we are. We are on Friday, um, the 23rd of August, and we're still waiting. We're still waiting for the Cowboys to do something about cd lamb to care that to show us that they care about the damn season or something and apparently we're not the only ones waiting here because cd lamb has posted you know you know what's kind of crazy is um i'm old enough to remember when things used to get worked on um when, when people used to actually have discussions and stuff that we didn't do things through the media you know how it is with the uh everything now you put it out on social media when you're unhappy when you're pissed off at a team you unfollow them and so on or you put out cryptic messages instead of just saying what the heck you think <coughs> excuse me i apologize for sneezing um cd lamb is waiting on a contract and apparently has rejected the jones is offering 32 some odd million dollars that at the moment would be second highest in the NFL. This was posted by C.D. Lamb. Let's take a look here. Still waiting on that phone call, but until then, you grind. That's C.D. Lamb. He's one of the toughest mismatches in the entire league. There's no question mark about C.D. Lamb. Lamb is going to score. Nobody has a question. We talk about C.D. Lamb. We say Justin Jefferson. We say Tyreek Hill. We say CD. Period. Get that bitch up. I had an arrest. Control what I can control. That's the best version. I can control what I can. Let's watch it again. Let's watch it again. Still waiting on that phone call. But until then, you grind. CD Lamb, he's one of the toughest mismatches in the entire league. There's no question mark about CD Lamb. CD Lamb is going to score. Nobody has a question. We talk about CD Lamb. We say Justin Jefferson. We say Tyreek Hill. We say CD Lamb. Period. Look at that bitch up. I had an arrest. Control what I can control. That's the best version of me. Now, I'm going to say that that took a little time to put that together. So I don't know if CD put that together himself or somebody else put that together. But that definitely took some time to do that. You know, we had it reported earlier in the week, and we've heard that um, from Pretty Ricky. So much for Pretty Ricky being a reliable source. Pretty Ricky, you're kind of ugly right now, bro. You're kind of ugly. Um, Alexa, turn on lamps and bar lights. Turn on bar lights. Damn, a little too dark in here. Um, Adam Schefter, not that you can uh, believe anything you hear from Adam Schefter. You know, he had reported that the two sides were close. I would think that the Joneses have had enough bad publicity for this year that you would just go ahead and say, you know what? Let's get this thing done. Let's just be over with this thing. Instead of bullshitting with this this is just ridiculous still waiting still waiting but until then we grind mm, 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 mm. shout out to to cd lamb and um this is where you have to feel like you know the joneses who always want to have their own way are literally hamstringing the Dallas Cowboys. You know, you've got what looks to be a team that may be better than most people think it is. You know, when you start looking at the players that they're putting out there, how some of the parts are fitting together really, really well with, um, you know, the young guys and stuff that you look like, Marshawn Dillon, you know, it looks a lot more like, um, you know, where, where Micah Parsons said he reminds him of Cam Jordan. Um, you look at that and say, okay, you look at Overshow, who looks to be a beast at linebacker and how Eric Kendrick is working into the fold. Now you've gone out and got yourself some defensive linemen. You know, let, let's be clear here. The Cowboys 
without CD Lamb are right here. They're they're an average team. With CD Lamb, they're a hell of a lot better team. Without CD, with CD. Without CD, with CD. And we need them to recognize that and get off their ass and get this shit done. We're on the cusp of the season. We're on the cusp. We are two weeks away. The Eagles will be playing two weeks from today. We are 13 days away from the season starting for everybody else. And um, we're just still messing around. Uh, I don't know about you, but I am I am really just kind of annoyed at the moment. You know, it just it's so hard to be a Cowboy fan at this point. It just is. Get off your ass and get her done. All right, good people. We'll talk about this some more tonight, 9 o'clock Eastern. I hope you guys tune in, and uh, we'll see what we're going to see. And maybe I'm, I'm just trying to, in my mind, in my mind I'm trying to think, what is the message there? Waiting on that call, does that mean that they've counter-offered? Because that's what it could be. could be that they've counter-offered and said, okay, here, how about we say 35.999, and he's waiting for a call from them to negotiate back? Or is it that he said, nah, bro, that isn't going to fly, and he's waiting for a call? For them to come back and say, okay, how about this? I wish I knew what it was. I wish I knew. If you guys have a clue, let me know. Let me look on X and see what we've got with this. Um, I'm seeing Brandon uh, Laurie. Workout video on his Instagram story. Still waiting on a phone call, but until then, we grind. Yeah. See what the comments are like. I'm getting so tired of this, man. Just over two weeks till the regular season. Jerry needs to get it done. Yeah. Pay CD or trade him to a team that will value him. CD deserves better. Pay the man. Imagine not going to work because you're only making eighteen million a year, then turning down thirty-three. See, you're not even okay. You're not living in the reality of being an NFL player. At this rate, there's no confidence that Jerry is going to sign him to an extension. Bring him home, Jerry. What the f? Trade him for picks to move up in the twenty-five draft for a quarterback. Uh, here we go. Or here we go. Two weeks before the season starts, and Jerry's Jones is still clowning and running the show here. Yeah. All right, people. We'll talk about this some more a little bit later.